it's me neva and um i just want to come on here and tell you about my rapture dream that i had about four to five years ago um it was at a time when i was staying with my parents and i had um was about to go to sleep that night said a prayer before i went to sleep and every night i always ask god um to give me a dream or anything that he want to say to me during that time because you know when you're asleep it's you just dreaming and um god can always give you something to help you along the way so um during that night like i said i said my prayer before i went to bed and straight maybe about 30 minutes later i was dreaming about a rapture dream so first things first um starting out in this dream i think me my mom my sister and my dad we had just pulled up to this wendy's and this wendy's was a long line this is the longest line i ever seen like in history at a wendy's um it was like people were just in line ordering and i just remember um when i was looking across the street i could see um it was just a bunch of chaos going on there was actually a walmart across the street i remember now came back to my remembrance it was a bunch of chaos it was people just hoarding their carts with food coming out of the store with carts with food um there were people just stealing from each other there were people fighting each other there were people just being hatred and then mean to each other and i couldn't understand what was going on at the time so um i was just telling my mom and dad i was like what is going on over there it's like it's just so many cars so many people i'm like it's just they're just angry at each other for no reason and then i thought that um as i was looking across the street i seen um this person like maybe about two or three people they were dressed in white and i just remember they had um eggs milk bread um just like all the essentials on a snowy that you will have on a snowy day if y'all know what i'm talking about here in north carolina so um they had all the essentials of that nature and um i just remember them walking over to us um coming towards our path and i just remember them giving this food to us and i was like okay you know at the time i wasn't thinking like something's going on at the time i was just thinking that um they're just being generous they're giving us something maybe they were thinking like i was thinking like maybe they're saying oh they've just been waiting in this long line they need something to eat so we're just going to give them what we have to give them <laughs> and um i just seen them actually giving it to multiple people not just us people i guess that were at the time i didn't know but when i woke up from my dream it really made sense they were giving it to people that really loved the lord people that were um really um spiritually and um you get it in that nature <laughs> i can't find the word that i wanted but um yes they were giving it to people because god will take care of his own I always hear those words all the time god takes care of his own and that's what god was doing so they were basically like angels and um i just remember we were still sitting in this long line and i just remember telling my sister i was like um i was like there's a church right over here i'm curious to kind of see you know what's inside it was open so i was like you know let's just go inside and see um what's in this church so after we go inside and see what's in here um it was a nice church you know very big it had a long walkway when we came in and i had these gorgeous big windows and i just remember looking out of these windows up at the sky and um as i looked at the sky it had the big words jesus i mean it was big and bold jesus and um i remember it being lit up like a christmas tree like these were so bright it was even even brighter than a christmas tree it was lit up the words jesus and um i was telling my sister i'm like come on over here you gotta see this and um i thought that 
I'm over here daydreaming about it. <laughs> As y'all can see, I'm daydreaming about it. And um, I was just looking up at it, and she was like, wow, there was so, that's so big. And I was like, yes, it's so big. And it says the words Jesus. And so that was my first sign. And um, about a couple of minutes later, not too long after we looked at it, I thought that they just, the words just started coming down basically on the earth and i was telling monique i said we got to get out of here and i think after all of them fell down but they weren't falling down to hurt anyone they was just kind of falling down to give a warning and that's what i remember and i was telling i was like we got to get out of here um, i feel like god's trying to tell us something we got to go <laughs> and as the words fell i remember everything went pitch everything completely went pitch dark and I was like I don't know how we're gonna find our way back to mom and dad I was just Lord all I hear was people still fighting still being angry with each other still um just hoarding over food you can hear that they were just trying to take from each other and um, I was like I don't know how we're gonna get back but I was like, I know God will keep us safe when we get back to, to get us back to our parents where we need to go. So um, I just remember it wasn't even hard for us to get back to where we needed to be because it was like a light shining to where we needed to go back to. And then as soon as we got back to my mom and dad, we were telling them, it's like, we got to go. I was like, there's big words in the sky that said, Jesus, they fell down. It's completely pitch dark. <laughs> and um, so um, we cut on the car immediately. And the next thing I know, we were going down the road. We were, I don't know if we were on vacation, what we were doing during this time. But I don't know if they were like apartments or just like a vacation home. But we went back to the place that we were staying. And I remember just looking across the way and I heard gunshots. So immediately I looked to where the gunshots are coming from. And I just remember these two men across. It was like, say, um, say you have like an apartment complex. There's like one across the street from each other. That's how it was. And um, they were just shooting at each other back and forth. And um I thought that one man hit the other man and he fell down to his death and I was like telling my mom and dad and we all telling each other we got to get somewhere and hide we got to get somewhere safe and then after that I just remember waking up from that dream so I didn't really get to finish it like I needed to I think I had to get up for work or something but I wanted to finish it but I couldn't but um basically what that dream was telling me is that the end times are near and as i see what's going on in the world today there's just so much hatred toward people and each other which it shouldn't be that way there is so much people stealing from each other people don't want to share and and that's the reality of it people don't want to share and when there's just so much hatred god is not pleased so in that moment i think god was just angry and he was just ready So